across the room from East West Sailing Performance. I've been out for, sorry, a week or so from work. I, I was really sick, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm ready to go. Moving a little slow, but I'm ready to go. I appreciate all the emails. I appreciate all the emails from all the assholes even out there that send stupid crap. But, you know, it's what you guys that sparked me to do these YouTube. So, thanks. I want to talk about some just basic quick things about the gut. As an, uh, in the early 1900s, there was a microbiologist, Nobel Prize winner named Metchnikoff, and he said death begins in the gut. You have people like Eugene Sandow, who said in the early 1900s in his book, Life is Movement, over 12 times, he said, you can have optimal physical health without optimal visceral health. He said this 12 times in the early 1900s, viscera organs. You have people today, like Jeffrey Bland, world-renowned saying and showing physiologically through lab testing that the biggest stress that you can do to your body is what you put in your mouth and what happens to your gut. So the bottom line is fix your gut, fix your health. I'm not saying if you have cancer and all these diseases that, you know, if you eat organic food and you heal your gut, your cancer is going to go away. But the bottom line is there's so many interesting things about the gut. And let's just look at some just basics about the gut. And then I want to go into just one quick simple fact when it comes to bacteria in the gut on why breastfeeding is so important when it comes to disease later in life. Well, let's look at the GI system. The GI system actually com comp um, comprises over 75% of your body's immune system. And that's actually housed in the GALT, the G-A-L-T, Gut-Associated Lymphoid Tissue. So if you want to read actually a good book about this stuff, you can read a book by Dr. Gershon called The Second Brain. And he's talking about, or what I'm talking about, is your enteric nervous system, okay, your second brain. And another reason why it's, it, it's really called the second brain is because this, it's been shown that the enteric nervous system, or the gut, can actually work into the, interdependently of the central nervous system. And they show that by cutting the vagus nerve, and this is the nerve that feeds all your involuntary actions in the body, like heart rate, GI system, things like that, that the the enteric nervous system or gut actually worked without the vagus nerve. So it's highly complex. They also showed that basically in the gut or let's say, you know, certain parts of the, the gastrointestinal system, they found over maybe maybe like 2,000 preganglionic fibers. Basically 2,000 ways of communication or little, you know, signals that feed the central nervous system to the gut, which sounds like a lot. But they showed that in the small intestine alone, Small intestine alone, there's over 100 million of these in the, in the small intestine. So you can see how highly complex it is and why it can actually work interdependently. They also show that there's over 400 species of microbes living in your gut. And this is how we get to the breastfeeding part. Why is this flora so important? Well, you have flora in the small intestine, you have flora in the large intestine. In the small intestine, you predominantly have lactobacillus. You know, and this goes anywhere from like 1,000 to maybe 100,000 per gram in the small intestine, which sounds like a lot, and it is, and you have other bacteria in there. But in the large intestine, where a lot of the anaerobic bacteria is, as well as bifidobacteria, you actually have like anywhere from like a billion to 100 billion per gram of tissue. So this bifidobacteria is so important. Well, when babies are born, their GI tract is actually sterile. It's breastfeeding that sets up this building of bacteria, but it actually sets up the building of bacteria in the large intestine of bifidobacteria. And that's why the breastfeeding is so important from a GI perspective. When the child starts eating solid food, that's when it starts actually developing the lactobacillus more in the small intestine. And they've shown through research that babies that are bottle fed, whether it's powder or who knows what else it is, that they actually develop it backwards. They start developing more lactobacillus in the small intestine, and they don't develop enough bifidobacterium in the large intestine. And they've shown that this sets up um, disease later on in life, obesity, severe diarrhea, you know, um, when the baby's being bottle fed, severe colicky, um, as well as they're more susceptible to pathogenic mi microbes, things like that. We have to look at swine flu and all these things that are coming out. Well, is it because of the swine flu or these flus or diseases, or is it the, the person is actually setting up the environment for these things to flourish? So these are questions we have to ask ourselves. And I'm not saying that eating organic food is going to swipe, fight the swine flu, but there's things that you can do to help your gut to set the foundation for health in your body. 
So let's look at why bifidobacteria is so important as an infant being breastfed. Now, there's other reasons why breastfeeding is so important. We're not going to go into that. We're just going over the gut today. The first is we're going to keep it simple. It provides protection to the GI, GI tract for the, the colon or the large intestine. It actually interferes with certain pathogens so they can adhere to the lining. So it's, it's, it's a huge protector. It actually produces natural antibiotics. So um, it's, it's a natural antibiotic to the body. Thirdly, it starves out other pathogenic bacteria, and it actually increases the efficiency of the body um, by recycling bile salts so the body can actually get rid of toxins. So it's so important that's, that you actually develop this bifidobacteria. Beside that, the bifidobacteria in the large intestine, and as well as other microbes, help to produce certain B vitamins, as well as B12, vitamin K, and butrate, which actually help to um, increase the the uh, amount of food or actually feed the gut microbes to keep it healthy. So having this balance is so, is so important. So next time you think about bottle feeding versus breastfeeding, think about the health of your child now as well as later on in life. As well as later on in life right now yourself, think about what you're putting in your body. Think about healing your gut and think about how everything you put in your body or in your mouth, I should say, actually affects your entire GI system and how complex it is. So Hopefully you enjoyed this little quick YouTube clip I did. Um, and if you want more information on our, our company, visit our website at eastwesthealing.com. And uh, I'll be back doing another one later this week um, on squatting and why squatting is so important for the human. So I'll check you later.